www.sugarboxing.com presents the Peekaboo Principles and Practices course. Module 2, Slipping, Part 2 out of 2. This series of mini tutorials is brought to you by our sponsor. Consider purchasing and customizing our digital posters online at Poster My Wall, link in the description below. In this video, we consider Module 2, Slipping. The topic is, Side Bends, or, how to actually slip like Mike Tyson. In order to dodge straight punches, some hooks, and even uppercuts, the peekaboo style uses the unified technique of inclining the body to the sides. The head moves, along, an arc, in a vertical plane, perpendicular to the direction at the opponent. The technique of side bends can be divided in three steps. Step 1, if you want to slip, say, left, then shift or fade aside hips in the opposite direction first. Step 2, twist hips anti-clockwise, so that the left hip is pulled backwards, and the right hip is pushed forward. We assume that your knees are bent, otherwise, you may additionally bend knees to give room for hips to move. Step 3. These two steps essentially allow you to crouch, not forward, as we introduced in part 1, but to the left side, which is the final step to execute the left side bend. This was the left side bend. Same holds for the right side bend, just alternate between left and right. Step 1, shift aside hips to the left. Step 2, twist hips clockwise. Then, step 3, crouch to the right side. The longer are the amplitudes of steps 1 and 2. The lower you can crouch in step 3. In other words, the further you shift your weight on the opposite leg, and twist hips in the direction of the desire bend, the lower you will be able to bend your body to the side. Let's recap. The shifting or fading aside of hips is a part of the weight shift principle. We borrow it from Module 4, Moving, without an in-depth introduction. The twisting of hips has a lot in common with, the quick waist turn principle from Module 5, Punching 101. Finally, bending the body sideways in waist is like crouching, but sideways, not forward. We get, weight shift, plus, waist turn, plus, crouch sideways, results in, side bends. Do's and Don'ts Avoid significant bending in the spine as shown in the right animation. Shift hips to the opposite side, and bend with the waist instead, as shown in left animation. It is important to stress out, that you do not really bend at the back when doing side bends, as shown in the right animation. This means, in the heat of the fight or sparring, you may slip a punch like that once, but you do not drill the technique like that because bending at the back may result in slip discs by age 40. Thank you for watching Module 2, Slipping. The next mini tutorial is Module 3, Head Movements.